Mtazamaji wa kazi wa jiji la Nakuru wamefanya maandamano ya amani kulalamikia sera ya afya ikihusisha afya ya uzazi na waviaji mimba. Moja kwa moja tunaungana naye mwandishi wetu Chichi Josephine kutoka kaunti ya Nakuru atueleze zaidi. Natumai dadangu Chichi Josephine mzima mbuheri wa afya tueleze zaidi kutoka kaunti ya Nakuru mswada huu wa afya hususan kwa kina dada unaangazia nini? Naam shukran sana mwacharo hivyo basi kumbuka na kupata ama unanikujia moja kwa moja kutoka mji wa Nakuru ambapo hii leo nina kikosi kizima cha wakazi wa Nakuru ambao siku ya leo wanafanya maandamano ya amani iweze kuweza kulalamikia kile ambacho wanasema ni baadhi ya sehemu kuondolewa katika sera ya afya ya uzazi ambayo pia inahakikisha kuwa uwaviaji wa mimba ulio salama unaojumuishwa hivyo basi hii leo nina kikosi hiki kizima ambacho hii leo wanafanya maandamano wakisema kwamba baadhi ya sehemu muhizo ambazo ni muhimu zaidi zimeweza kutolewa katika sera hiyo hivyo basi mwacharo ni ruhusu tu uh, niweze kuzungumza na baadhi yao ambao watanielezea hii leo wana lengo lipi na ba, kutokana na maandamano ya siku ya leo wanataka nini ifanyike hivyo basi uh, shukran sana kwa kuzungumza na TV 47 nieleze hii leo mnafanya maandamano ya nini na mnataka nini ifanyike Asante sana kwa majina ni Cosmas Mutua kutoka Riko na pia mimi ni mwanachama wa Nakuru Reproductive Health Network Leo tunafanya maandamano ili kuunganika na wakenya wezetu to express our tunajua kwamba ukiangalia kwamba kuna ile reproductive health policy ambapo ilikuwa inaandago some review ama some revision na wameweza wameweza kuondoa zile vipengee muhimu kama access to comprehensive reproductive health services to the adolescents and youth tunajua tukiangalia venye hali iko sasa macho tunakangalia kwamba vijana na adolescents wanaafetua sana mambo ya HIV infections Kenya tunaambua mambo ya HIV tuko namba 4 tukiangalia nakuru kama county tuko namba 4 katika zile high burden HIV new infections among 10 to 24 kwa hivyo tunakuja kuongeza ile sauti kuunganika na wakenya wenzetu kuhakikisha kwamba we are expressing our displeasure maana hatuwezi kubali venye hali iko iendelee kuwa hivyo na tunajua kwamba huu mswada unatakiwa kuwa launched hapo kesho. Kwa hiyo ni kusema kwamba kama wanaharakati tunapinga ile launch of that uh, policy maana tunajua kwamba haina manufaa maana venye hali iko haitasaidia ku address the current issues ambazo ziko katika hiyo mambo ya reproductive health. Labda unieleze wakati ambapo unafanya maandamano kuna wale vijana labda mnasema kwamba kumekuwa na visa vya uh, mimba za mapema. Mm. Labda mmeweza labda kuchukua jukumu nyinyi kama kitengo chenu kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba mnawahamasisha pia dhidi ya kuwa kupata mimba za mapema tunafanya ile committee sensitization mambo ya sexual reproductive tunahamasisha wanajamii tunahamasisha mashirika tofauti tunahamasisha pia eh, learning institutions kuhakikisha kwamba wote wanapata ujumbe pia tunapeana access to commodities kama condom use na zingine tunahakikisha kwamba zile vifaa zinapatikana na pia ule ujumbe unapatikana maana we also need access to comprehensive sexuality education wakati wa ku, kujificha ama wakuto, tunafaa kuongea mambo wazi kuhakikisha kwamba watu wamepata ujumbe ambao unafaa mambo ya reproductive health commodities ziko so tunahakikisha kwamba zile commodities zinapatikana na pia services kama kuna wale vijana maybe amepata mimba kwa bahati mbaya na mengine tunahakikisha kwamba zile post abortion care zinapeanwa without any discrimination or stigma Shukran sana kwa muda wako. Niweze kuzungumza na wewe kwa kauli yako ni ipi? Na naelewa ya kwamba kuna uwaviaji wa mimba ambao ni salama na si salama. Tuweke wazi. Kwa majina naitwa Martin Lunalo nikiwa mimi ndio kiongozi wa kikundi hiki maalum. Uh, nikiongoza Reproductive Health Champions Organization na pia nikiwa mwenyekiti wa Nakuru County RH Network. Na leo hii ni siku kubwa sana hasa kwa vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya. Manake serikali inakusudia ya kwamba inataka kutoa vipengee vya muhimu ambavyo vitahakisha kwamba vijana wetu wanapata afya ambayo ni bora zaidi. Na wametoa vipengee kwa, kwa, kwa dhana kwamba ni kupotosha wananchi, kupotosha vijana endapo tawaruhusu kwa access comprehensive sexual reproductive health services. Wanasema ya kwamba vijana wetu tu adolescents kila cha maana yafaa waambiwe ni kwamba wa abstain. Today we are talking about issues of teenage pregnancies na kuru being on the leading Uh, face being at 18.1% point, point 
that statistics ni enough ya kwamba serikali istahili ilale darasani na kuanza kutumia opposition ku suppress the service delivery of our communities. La pili ni kwamba hawataki kuzungumzia ni chinzi gani tutapunguza maambukizi makali ya virusi vya ukimwi kwa watoto wetu. Na hivyo wakisema ya kwamba hawataki mambo hayo iweke katika msuada wao ambao utatekeleza katiba ambayo tunayo basi hiyo ni serikali ambayo ina ujumu jamii yake. Article 1 of the Constitution of Kenya is very clear that all the powers belongs to the Kenyan citizens and therefore if there is any amendment if there is any public participation that is supposed to take place then there is that level of inclusivity the government must include its people in its planning ni wapi wamehusisha vijana ni wapi wamehusisha mashirika yasiyokuwa ya kiserikali kutoa mapendekezo yao wakati wana amend hii policy the government of kenya also through the constitution of kenya 2010 under article 43 inapeana haki ya kila mkenya kupata huduma ya afya and this this policy it is discriminating our young people saying that because of their age they are not at liberty to access these services which kind of government is this that is contradicting its own legislation that is contradicting its own constitution under article 20 article 26 section 4 inaongea kuhusu ni ni, ni, ni wakati gani mwanamke afaa apate huduma ya huduma bora ya safe abortion that is legal lakini hao wanasema ya kwamba hiyo ni kuleta jamii kuwe potovu so we are here saying that the government of Kenya under the minister of health is sluggish in its thinking na tumechukua wazee tumepanga wamejaa katika hizi mawizara ndio maana hawako tayari kusaidia watoto ambao hawajui wanaishi maisha gani wakati huu labda unieleze kuna wale ambao watasema labda mnapigia debe kuweza kuavia mimba tuweke wazi wapo kuna kuna tofauti kati ya uaviaji mimba ulio salama na usio salama na ni wakati upi uaviaji mimba unaruhusiwa kikatiba The Constitution of Kenya kupitia hiyo article 24 article 26 section 4 inapeana nafasi ya kwamba endapo mama ambaye ni mchamzito wako katika hatari ya kuaga dunia kwa sababu ya mimba ameibeba basi afaa ruhusiwe kutoa hiyo mimba endapo kuna sheria yoyote ambayo inaruhusu uafiaji wa ile mimba serikali kupitia kwa Constitution ya Kenya article 26 also it has given that liberty kama maisha huyu mama iko in danger basi pia huyu mama anaruhusiwa ya kwamba aka access that service so we are saying that what the government is doing is 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 politics serikali acha kucheza siasa na afya ya wananchi serikali acha kucheza siasa na na afya ya hawa vijana ambao wamepiga wame laini nyuma yangu we are here to demonstrate we are here to defend our constitution and we are saying we are not going to accept the launch of the rh policy tomorrow by the minister of health because if it is going to launch that policy then that policy do not belong to the people of kenya it belongs to Mago, it belongs to dr kagwe It belongs to a moth and not as the citizens of Kenya. Are we okay? Yes. Shukran basi. Mocharo kama ulivyosikia ni kauli ya wale viongozi katika ambao wanaongoza maandamano ya siku ya leo na kumbuka kwamba ni maandamano ya amani ambapo wanasema baadhi ya sehemu hizo ambazo zimetolewa kwenye sera hizo hawataruhusu ya kwamba kesho kuna uzinduzi wa sera hiyo ambapo wanasema wako kinyume na uzinduzi wa sera hiyo na hivyo basi kumbuka kwamba huyo ni mmoja ambaye amenuku katika katiba kifungu cha 26 ambapo amesema mwanamke anaruhusiwa tu kuavia mimba iwapo maisha yake yamo hatarini. Hivyo basi mwacharo ni swala ambalo pia nitazidi kulivalia njuga na nitazidi kukujuza kadri mambo yanavyotokea katika eneo hili. Kwa niaba ya mpiga picha wangu Eliud Karanja, mimi ni Chichi Josephine kwa Co Studio ni sana chichi Josephine kutoka kaunti ya Nakuru kwa taarifa hiyo bila shaka imeweza kuibua mdahalo mkubwa tangia hapo enzi za zamani na natumai kwamba kwa sasa basi e, vile vile wahudumu hao na viongozi hao wataweza kusikizwa na serikali na marekebisho katika katiba yataweza kufanywa maana ni mambo ambayo yanaendelea kufanyika kila uchao